So at this point, you must have tried many Android 10 custom ROMs and none of them impressed you in terms of performance or battery life. Then today in this video, I bring you guys the brand new ROM called Carvas OS. Thanks to all active subscribers of this channel who kept on asking me to make a review on this ROM. This is Carvas OS, the high performance Android 10 gaming ROM at the moment and in this video I'm going to talk about everything which includes both pros and cons of this ROM. Well, Carvus OS is currently the super stable, high-performance gaming ROM at the moment, which is available for many devices. In this case, I'm going to use my Poco F1 to demonstrate this video for you guys. Anyway, talking about pros, unlike other ROMs, this ROM comes with a homemade launcher called Carvus. It works the same way as Pixel Launcher, but with some extra additional features that would improve the user experience. Swiping up brings the app drawer and swiping up and holding for a second brings up the app switcher. Now from the home screen, swiping to the right brings up the Google Cloud section. This launcher also supports a feature of adding icon packs. So it's pretty easy to change between the different icon packs and make your phone look like the way you want. Also the launcher supports a double tap gestures. So double tapping within the home screen may trigger the actions like volume panel, notifications panel and more. You can customize these gesture actions within the launcher settings. One of the good things about this launcher is that it supports a built-in app locking and hiding the applications. Using biometrics, you can protect the applications you want within a few seconds. Select the list of applications you want to be protected. And that's it. Whenever you try to open it, you have to authenticate with biometrics to open the application. Like Havoc OS, Carvus does provide an option to screen capture along with internal audio. This way gamers can record the gameplay hassle-free along with the internal audio of any game. And the output of the video looks pretty good and much improved compared to other ROMs. Now Carvus OS brings a brand new toggle to the quick tile menu. There are many toggles out there to choose from. The all new FPS information toggle may help to view the FPS of any game, which is a good thing to have. Along with that, you now have an option to change the accent colors of the system right from the quick toggle section. It's time to talk about the dark mode. Inside settings, there is a new section called themes, which is where Carvus developers have added more system themes that you can choose from. Check out these brand new themes, which may change the way how your device looks like. When it comes to customization, Carvus OS provides a plethora of options that you could choose from to tweak the user interface according to your liking. There is a section within the settings named as Ravens. Using these advanced settings, you can change the system animations, transitions, status bar items, power menu, and more. I like the way how these settings are neatly organized in a way that any end user can easily understand. Now when it comes to power menu, the developers of Carvus has changed the look of the menu. It looks pretty much close to MIUI 11. And check out this expanding animation of the volume panels that would let you quickly control the system volume. It's time to talk about the big things of this ROM. This ROM is meant to deliver high performance on your old Android device. I have tried many different ROMs on my Poco F1, but none of them has satisfied me to the core level except this ROM. I got shocked by the way how this ROM performs in day-to-day -day life. I seriously want to say hats up to the Carvus developers for making this ROM so powerful and responsive. From app launching to gaming, everything seemed to be super snappy. There is a 0% lag or stutters I have encountered with system UI. I'm shocked to say that the touch response rate on this ROM is magnificent. When it comes to gaming, 
oh boy trust me i do play pubg every day during the lockdown period i mean what else should i do and i have played pubg on different roms but all of them are having some minor frame drops and lag and even the heating issues but in this case of carver's os i am astounded by the performance of pubg at high settings the gameplay was super snappy no stutters or frame drops have noticed and the gameplay was consistent according to the fps info panel you can easily achieve 60 fps gaming without any issues to cope up with the performance battery life is very important this rom does provide the power when it needed at the same time it provides a decent battery life which is amazing i do get six plus hours of sot by the end of the day apart from that these are the benchmark scores of carvus os running on poco f1 It's time to talk about the cons. Well, I would say I haven't noticed any issues so far, but sometimes you may face a poor call quality issues. This happens with a GeoSIM for some reason. The recipient wouldn't be able to hear your voice properly. I don't know guys, in my case, I do face this issue, so let me know if you do face the same. Overall, I would feel Carvus OS is a super stable, power-packed Android 10 custom ROM meant to deliver high performance on your Android device. Definitely, as of now, this would be in my number one list in terms of gaming. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in my next one. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right